Hello everybody and welcome to another video at Terra Nova Bricks. My name is Clovis Mba and I am the founder of this production site. And today, this video is mostly for some of you viewers who have been following us and asking for some of our videos to be made in English. So today, we will do that for you today. Just kind of give you guys a brief description of what we do and how we're able to transform soil which is readily available here in Africa into bricks. And this is the type of bricks that we'll be making here and that will be showing you the process of transforming soil into these bricks that we use for construction. So follow me. So what you see here is soil just dry regular old soil so how we uh, acquire this soil we uh, usually dig about a meter down to where we completely eliminate the uh, regular uh, composting soil or topsoil we remove the topsoil one meter below the surface then we collect this particular soil and this soil that you see right here we're going to transform this into our bricks here we have a process for drying that we created ourselves whenever we are in the raining season as most african country experience we'll dry our soil we'll store it and then once it's dry we'll, we'll start our process because our soil needs to be dry all the time in order for us to produce good bricks so follow me So once our soil is dry, the next stage is to reduce it into really fine uh, particles. And what we use is a crusher, soil crusher that we uh, acquire from sellers online, from China, and wherever we can acquire whatever equipment uh, works best for us. So follow me, let me show you what we use for that. So this is a soil crusher we've acquired from uh, a supplier on um, Alibaba but mostly in China uh, from named Amy so she provided us with this equipment is we've been able to assemble it and test it so you really need a uh, energy in order for you to use uh, this crusher but so far it works really good you don't need to use it all the time just maybe one or two days a week and then you should be able to uh, produce enough soil for a couple of days of production so this is what we use to reduce our soil into really fine uh, powder and then we'll sift it for block production so now after you've watched uh, the machine working and crushing the soil we now that soil is placed under this uh, sifter this is a mesh about four millimeters wide that we created to sift our soil and produce this fine powder which we use for block production and then removing these granules that we cannot use in the block production so this is what allows us to produce a good quality blocks once we have uh, our soil completely into the powder that we looking for we now go through a series of tests soil vary from region to region and because of that we need to make sure that we get a good test done to that soil in order to produce the block that we need so now how that test goes uh, is a test of quality to know how much clay sand and silk is inside your soil once you know what is in your soil you can now go ahead and make the adjustment required to make good blocks so based on whatever specification you're working with as you can see here on the ground we have our soil some sand which is coarse sand that we need to use and that we use that with some portland cement we use portland cement to add into our mix and to stay that what that's what allows us to uh, stabilize our block so soil that you have tested make the necessary adjustment 
that you need to do in order to uh, get the right amount of clay soil and sand into your block and then adding the Portland cement. Here at Terra Nova Bricks, we make our blocks 10% Portland cement. Some people will use seven, five, but here we keep it at 10% for all our blocks that are made. And as you can see here, this is how the process goes. So once we made our mix, the soil is tested for moisture content. And once that moisture content is acquired, then the soil goes into our production. And before it does that, we weigh every single block using this scale to weigh how much amount of soil goes into the block. And then, do we have a penetrometer? So, we weigh every single block that we produce to make sure that we get the same amount of material for every single block. And now, you can see in this machine, that we're using right now right now we're using a manual press and this press right now has already a block inside so we'll test that block for quality before we pull the block out so with this equipment and this device we will be able to test for quality and right there before that line touches the block we already have the head coming out so that what let us know that the pressure inside the block is very good. So now we can get the block out. The block, the density inside the block is good. The pressure inside the block has been tested. And now they're gonna take the block out and take it out for stacking. And that's a 24 hour stacking. So once the blocks are produced, we're going to pull it out and then take it over to the stacking area. Like I was saying earlier, once the block is removed from the press, the block is now moved to a drying area. And then in this drying area, we've, we're able to compose a system where our blocks we can stack as many blocks as we produce in order to have enough space so these blocks will be staying here for 24 hours in order to allow the cement to work and solidify and stabilize our blocks so after 24 hours the blocks will now be removed from this area and then taken over to our curing area and the reason why we keep it here for 24 hours is to allow the block to harden when they come out of the press even though we've checked for pressure the block is still fragile so we can then stack here for 24 hours allowing it to cure a little bit and then moving over to the curing area after 21 days the bricks will be moved out of the part and then ready for construction and these are some of the bricks that we've made and as you can see the color of the bricks vary depending on the type of soil that we've been using and of course in our uh, storage areas bricks this is a block completely flat in all sizes weighs about 8.3 kilo and this is another block from one of our hydraulic press completely different size block so and of course you can see the different colors and the different shades and that also vary depending on the type of soil 
that you use. So if you ask yourself why the colors change, it's because we're, di we're using different soil to produce the block. In the curing area, our blocks stay for 21 days. 21 days every day, we water it and then we cover it back up. After 21 days, our blocks should be ready and used for construction. Uh, a ready block and finished block looks just like this one. Solid with no damage to the block. So for construction, how do you lay the block? It's mostly fairly easy. Like dry stacking, just like Lego blocks. Female end, male head. Just laying your block stack. Female end, male end. Female end, male end, and then this is exactly how your block should be stacked and your wall should look just as flat once it's finished. I hope that uh, after watching the process from collecting soil, drying it out, crushing, siftering, pressing, curing, you at least have a little bit of knowledge of uh, what we do here. At least I was able to answer some of your questions that you've asked for uh, making an English video. So. And for those of you who are still uh, not familiar with Terra Nova Bricks, we are located in Akak, Yaoundé. And you guys want to uh, get in contact with us, you guys can call us with the phone numbers that are passing by on the bottom of the screen at the moment. So just reach us on Facebook and also keep watching some of our YouTube videos and we'll be posting some more videos as time goes by and as we have more videos to uh, provide. That's all I had to share with you guys today. So if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. You can uh, subscribe to our channels and then give us some comments on any type of suggestion you may have on uh, some of the videos or some of the uh, questions that you have. So, thank you and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.